Hey everybody, you asked for it and now you got it. Today we're doing a Shelly Art Bloom recipe video that's not going to be 45 minutes long. I've always respected your time in my videos and this one is no different. Today we're going to be going over my Shelly Art Bloom recipe that has seen some changes from its previous version. Various things have changed so stick with me through this one. If you follow this recipe from start to finish, you'll be creating some amazing blooms in no time. So let's get into the video. The first thing you're going to need is pillow paint. I use Valspar Ultra 2000 High Hide White. For those of you that don't know what a pillow paint does, it is essentially the same as a base coat for an acrylic pour. It allows the composition to slide across without the paints rolling under or getting distorted by stretching. I'm also going to put some alternatives to what I use in the description if you can't find this in your area. Easy peasy. Moving on. The next thing you need is the medium. I use Sherwin Williams High Gloss Ultra Deep Base and Polycrylic at a 3 to 1 ratio. Now this stuff is very thick so don't shake it or you might never get the bubbles out of it. Now you want to take your time here. Measure out these two components well. This medium dictates all the colors in the bloom you pour so it's important to mix these gently but well. And mix them until they flow off the stick. The next thing is paint consistency. I don't think it's talked about enough, but paint consistency is much more important for Shelly Art Bloom pours when you're dealing with fluid acrylics and medium body acrylics. To make sure you have the same consistency, mix your fluid paints first. Five to 10 drops of fluid paint and one to two tablespoons of medium should be all you need depending on the size of your project. Now mix well, but be gentle because it's still thick and all those bubbles will stay in the paint. To match the consistency of the medium bodied paints to its fluid counterpart, you need to thin it out before adding the medium. You're going to use polycrylic to thin it out. Measure out your paint into a cup and then add an equal portion of polycrylic to your paint and then mix it well. You'll have a paste now and that's fine. Now you can add one to two tablespoons of your medium to get an equal consistency to your fluid paints. I put both the medium body and the fluid acrylic side by side here so you can see the consistencies are the same throughout. The cell activator is the part of my recipe that has seen the most changes from my last iteration. It is also the part of the recipe that creates all the beautiful lacing and cells. For my cell activator, I use Floetrol, Amsterdam Paints, School Glue, and Minwax Wood Conditioner. First thing, measure out your Floetrol. In my recipe, I use three parts. Then add one part Amsterdam Titanium White. I then add the Minwax Wood Conditioner and I add three to six drops. And then I mix it very well. At this part, I add one part school glue and then I mix it thoroughly. I put in this really short time lapse kind of as a proof of concept using the colors that I mixed in this video just to show you that this recipe works like a charm. If you got value out of this video, tap the like button. And if you have any questions, feel free to ask me in the comments. I'm very responsive in the comments and I try to answer every single person that asks me a question. If you aren't subscribed to the channel, I encourage you to do so that you don't miss any of my future content. Click the video on the screen right now to see this recipe in action with Christmas colors, or check out the other video and learn some more.